What's good, everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international cinematographer and colorist, and today I am super excited to be partnering with my friends over at Art Visuals and to bring you guys these pretty sweet DaVinci Resolve transitions. Uh, if you have been around my channel for a long time, you'll know that I currently have a video on there with transitions from Art Visuals, but this is generation two, or what they call the pro series of their camera moves pack, and it's so much easier to use. So I'm so excited to bring you this tutorial on how not only to install them, but also how I would use them as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, here we are on the computer. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with these transitions is going to be to install them. So on the left, I have the file that you will have downloaded or received from the R Visual Store. And on the right, I have the directory to the DaVinci Resolve transitions. All you're going to do is take all of these files, scroll down to the bottom, highlight them all, copy them and then paste them into this directory. Now for your convenience, I have listed both the directory for Mac and Windows in the descriptions, and it is as simple as that. There is no importing projects into Resolve and then trying to copy and paste files into projects based on frame rates. Everything is standardized one time. You do it once and it's done forever. From there, you either restart DaVinci Resolve or open up DaVinci Resolve. And once you are in Resolve, you open up your effects library. And when you scroll down to Fusion Transitions, you will see them all right there for you to use. Let's put some of these into action. So. You can see here on our timeline, we have this nice clip in Maui, Hawaii on the main part of the island. And then we go into the mountainous area of the island. And then we're in the bamboo forest. And then we're at the top of the bamboo forest. What we can do is use transitions in this case to make that flow smoother and kind of represent where we're actually going, giving the viewer a better idea. So again, we're going from point A to point B, and it seems like this is in the distance. So a zoom transition would be great right here. So we have CM Pro zoom in. I'm simply going to apply that right there. Next, we're going from the top of that mountainous region kind of down to the ground. So we can use a kind of flat down transition here or a wipe down. In this case, I know I wanna use the flat down. So I'll just apply that right there. And do you see how quick this is to be able to go through your timeline and add the transitions? There's no more adding an adjustment clip and deleting things and going into fusion. Everything is just done right in Resolve in the edit tab. And then from here, we are going higher again. So from the bottom of the bamboo forest, in the bamboo forest, to the top of the bamboo forest. So we can use a whip up transition or a spin right transition. I know that I am going to use, oh, yep, camera moves rotate up. So we're gonna apply that right there. Now, when you go through to play these transitions originally, you'll notice that there is a performance lag that is okay. These transitions take a lot of processing power. So all you have to do is go into playback, enable render cache and select smart, and you will see these red bars pop up and they will render out your transitions for you. The same way that if you were using any of the default transitions in Resolve, this again is a big improvement over the original camera moves transition pack as you actually had to select all the clips and then you would have to go into create new compound clip and then you'd have to render it that way. Now, if these little bars do not start for you, all you have to do is go into your project settings and tick automatically cache transitions in user mode. And then you can select one second. And if you are having performance issues still, just go ahead into the drop down menu for both of these and select HQ or SQ as one of the options to use. So when we go back to play it through, we can see everything is playing smoothly for us throughout the playback with no drop frames. So now let's talk about how we can modify these transitions a little bit. One of the ways is you can stretch the time rate by simply moving the transition left or right, which is pretty nice compared to having to go into fusion. But one of the things I like about these is it's very easy in these transitions to modify things like the zoom and how it zooms. So we can click show center pivot overlay. We can see the target for where that zoom transition happens. All we have to do is simply adjust that. So I want it on me, so I'm gonna move it down right about there. 
and then we can move it to the left a little bit and now it's right over me now all you're going to want to make sure that you do is turn off that show center pivot overlay and then you're going to let it re-render itself out now once it has re-rendered itself we can play it back and we can see that that zoom is now directly pointed towards me we are also able in these instances to change the way that the edges are warped so that we don't see that distortion we can either warp them we could duplicate them or we could use a canvas effect so this all gives you more abilities to customize your transitions in the way that you want to and then you can select the prism amount as well so really again all of your customization can be done in these tabs in the right no more again going into fusion the last thing that you're going to want to do when using these transitions and it's up to personal taste is going to be to make sure that you use all the sound effects that came with the transitions so all you have to do is go into the sound library and again i've already done this but once you have your local database set up click these three dots you're going to click add library and what you're going to do is in that davinci resolve directory that i took you to that i had you import all those files into all you're going to do is select the camera moves sfx folder and then press select folder and it will import everything and then once you zoom in on your timeline a little bit you'll see that the names of the transitions are right there so all you'll have to do is type in the name of that transition so we type in zoom in then we can see the transition is right here and then we just place the peak of that sound right over that transition and so when we play it back let me turn off this overlay sound plays right there. I don't know if you heard that through my microphone, but this is how you'll be able to apply each and every individual sound effect that is in the library. And that my friends is how simple it is to use these sound effects and transitions. If you want my final thoughts, this is the best transition pack on the market. And I'm not saying that because I was paid to say that. I am saying that because I have used other transitions. I have even used their previous transitions. And this is so much easier on my computer. And I feel a lot more confident in my workflow and in the stability of the program as well. So A plus guys, A plus. As you guys can see, especially if you've been around the channel for a long time, these transitions are so improved over the previous iteration. They're so easy to use, and I really hope that you guys are able to find a place for these in your workflow. Be sure to head to the description down below where you will find a link where you can grab your copy of these camera transitions. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I or our visuals will get back to you down there. If you guys like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you have not be sure to follow me on my social media the links are in the description down below and as well as our visuals their links are also in the description down below and y'all know i can't forget about my youtube fam their links are also in the description down below if you guys are ever feeling uninspired uncreative or just want to give up on life remember every day airplanes take off against the wind live love laugh stay inspired and as always stay fabulous my name is sydney and i'll see you guys next time peace out